Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. I don't know what I'm going to do today because I had no plans on what I was actually going to record, but it's Friday, which means you have the weekend. It is the weekend. It's time to go party. It's time to put the homework away, and you're you're done. You get the next, like, three days off, right? Because Friday, we don't ever count as an actual, like, work day, right? I mean... Just kidding. Um, anyhow, um, yeah, I, I really have no clue what to do today. Um, somebody recreated my gold bridge and Grammy posted pictures inside my discord about it. They were asking, they're like, do I need to ask for permission to build codes bridge? And the answer is no. You don't need my permission to recreate something that I've made. Now, if you're straight duplicating the base, because I was in like a public server or something like that, I still don't care. You can absolutely do that if you want to. Um, don't exploit. <laughs> so that's that's it. I mean, it's really nothing big. I mean, I I don't stress over little things like that. Um, the the whole oh no, I I invented it first. I don't care. I didn't invent the the door bridge. I didn't invent the um, the wall glitching. Like there's there's a bunch of things that I've done videos over, tutorials and secrets, tips, tricks, and people ask me like permission to post those things. You you don't need my permission at all. Okay? Like if you're claiming to be the first no offense, Jason, um, but if you're claiming to be the first person and I have a video about it from like years ago, I'll let you know. Um, what was it? I think it was a chessboard or something like that. Anyhow, that was a long time ago and I'm, I'm way beyond it. I'm past the whole, I found it first. Give me credit. I'm, I'm done with those. Like, it's pointless. It's, it's a waste of breath. Especially, oh my gosh, Twitter is the worst place to try and take a rant. And people do. People just spew toxicity onto Twitter and onto social medias, thinking that it's it's going to do something, that it's, it's going to matter. Now, I will grant Twitter has been a great place for me to go and talk directly to businesses whenever there was a problem, because, you know, you just... We, oh, I missed. You just tag them and they're like, hey, um, DM us, let us know what, what happened, you know? And I love companies that respond that fast. That's that's pretty cool. But I mean, there's a, there's a customer service line. There's a ticketing system. There's something there that you could use besides Twitter to blast people. I'm kind of contradicting myself by saying that, but that's fine. Um. I thought about taking this all down the other day. Hey, <laughs> I found one of my pins <laughs> from Christmas. Oh gosh. Um, bowling pins for our bowling alley. And there's another bowling pin. Wow, they just kind of scattered all over the place, didn't they? Now I see a couple of axes for the axe shop, so. You know what? Let's do it. Let's make this a cleaning video and we will put away axes. I've already got like a ton of fire axes, so I don't think I need, hold on. Okay, flip that back around. I don't need to do that. I don't need to stick a whole bunch of axes in here, but I would like to get them up into here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot. I have like a ton of stuff inside this tower. Oh, so many things. My alpha axes seem to be running down a little bit. Wobbly heads. Were the wobbly heads on the second? The gift of towers, the towers of gifts. That's gift, not gif, like jif. Hold on. Do I have, oh, there they are. Red. Boom. 
Oh, I don't want a sword. I really don't want a sword. Actually, you know what? What what axes do we have on us? I don't want to lose that one. So let's let's go put this one away. That one's a special one. Yoink. Should we go? Yeah, let's do it. I'm actually going to take this with me, and we're going to test it out on the um, the zombie trees, zombie trees, zombie trees. Because I don't think I've tested this. I wonder if it works on gold, gold trees. Come on, get in. You know what? I have a faster way. I was going to drive down the back of the volcano just for excitement purposes, but you know what? I have got a bridge ready to go. And all we have to do is just drive over there. So, wink. Okay, come on, there we go. It's a Friday night and I ain't got nobody. I've got some money cause I just got paid. Now how I like to wish, how I wish I had someone to talk to. I'm in an awful rage. That's an old song. My mom used to listen to it on the radio. Back whenever uh, oldies 105.1. Oh gosh. So whenever we were living in uh, Springfield, the um, oh nice two hits. Okay, let's try this. Six, seven, eight. So it takes eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wow. One, two, three. So wait, what is what is this axe called? The overgrown axe. It does cut gold wood much faster than, huh, hang tight. Okay, so I just went and looked. The difference in between the volcano and the, the gold, volcano wood gives you 28 money and gold gives you 36 money whenever it's plinked out. Now with this ax, it would give you a faster advantage. Um, but it's still not as good as Frostwood. Frostwood is 106 per unit planked. So Frostwood is still hands down the best. Um, Phantom Wood, 420 units, uh, 420 per unit. So that is still the best wood in the game, but it's really hard to get, so. and. I needed to test something. In fact, what, what am I doing up here? I was uh, I was testing the axe, so the axe was tested and it's good. I need to go get an eyeball because I wanted to test the uh, end times tree because last time I wasn't able to get to it because of the whole, um, what's it, the, the super hoover, the super bridge badge. I wonder if it's fixed. We don't really need to keep this up here. I can just jump up here. Whee! Okay. So do I have any eyeballs down here? Oh, there's some eyeballs. There we go. Grab one. Grab one. Of, oh, come on. Ooh, there we go. Grab that. And uh, should we take out the pink truck? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around these. Hold on. Can I just uh, manually put that down? There we go. Yeah, that's good. Let's go ahead and go through here. Oh, no. That other truck is stuck. Okay, fine. Oh, wait. I need... Uh, actually, I don't. I don't. I can, I can do this without blueprints because I got skills. There we go. Jump out. Whoa. Now I don't want to take the, um, ah, dang it. Okay. Okay. Silly gooses. B. I don't want to take the trailer with me. 
So we'll just set that down. Still got my eyeball. Good. Well, let's go. Get into my car. <clears throat> oh, my voice. Sorry, I actually got a little tired looking up the uh, the wiki numbers. By the way, if you need information about uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 or any of its like um, biomes questions, if you have questions, go to the wiki. Look it up. It's a uh, it's actually fandom, but the wiki has all the answers you need. Hello, Super Sir or Madam. I like to keep the bridge down. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, I can't. Hold on. Let's see if it goes. I'll leave my eyeball there for a second. Because I, I couldn't grab it, so... I'm hoping... Hey, hey! It does go down. Yay! We might go get some uh, end times. Hopefully. It has been a while since I've done this. I haven't been down here forever. Now you guys remember the trick, right? You do not um, take the entire tree. If you try and take the entire tree, you will drop it. It will fall off the edge. Now there's another thing about the end times tree. When you try and put it onto the bridge, it will start sinking through the ground. Unless you're in a truck that's moving back and forth. Now I don't know if that's been fixed, but we are going to test it out. So, let's go get some phantom wood. How far are we? We're 12 minutes. Not bad, not bad. For a Friday, you know. Just kind of chilling. <sighs> so, a lot of you who grew up with me, um, like, you still come to my channel, even though you're like teenagers and, and you've been through some things, like, you're in high school now. That's weird for me to think. Like, my daughter, she's in high school. When I started this channel, she was so little. My son, my son is now taller than my wife and my daughter. Oh, there it is. That's a good view of it, too. Wow. So, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is it feels like time is moving much faster at a, like a much faster rate than whenever I first started. And whatever happens to the channel, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I've had this experience, that you guys were here for it. Thank you. I know, I'm getting all sentimental. I'm sorry. Now there is a script that if I'm down here, whenever the bridge goes up, it does kill you. That's also why there's an escape hatch. Uh, well, this is unexpected. I was, I was honestly not expecting to uh, to go down here today. This is awesome. Ugh, oh, it's taking forever. Here, I'll pause. Why? Because they don't want to see just me going down a bridge. Let's... Yeah, I got this, Steven. Thanks. Appreciate it. Now, a lot of you have asked in the past, is Steven real? And to that, I say, ha! Or, no. Uh, Steven is not a real person. No, you're not real. No, you're, you're a figment of my imagination. Yes, we are of the same mind, but that... I guess that doesn't make you any less real, but no, you're not real. No, you're... okay. Okay, we'll just, we'll agree to disagree. Yes, Steven is not real. I'm gonna tell them that. Yeah. Alright, um, let's see. I do have an end times X. Whew. That would have sucked. <laughs> Get all the way down here and not have an end times X. Come on, come on. Oh gosh, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? We're only gonna get like one, maybe two of these. Uh, didn't even really need a reason to come down here. I just, I wanted to check to see that the uh, eyeball was working. 
Okay, take your time code. There we go. Oh no. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, can we get this out of here? Or is that... You're stuck until the other ones are chopped, aren't you? Okay. How long does it stay down? Three minutes? I should be able to make that. Come on. There we go. There's two. Oh, you're sneaking off on me. Don't sneak off. Alright. And... Fall. 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 Nice. No, no, come back. No, stop, stop. No, my axe. Oh gosh, what is going on here? No! Stop, stop, stop! That so much. <laughs> I didn't take the whole tree, but it glitched into itself and started falling over. Ah, well, we're gonna have to trim that back some. Next time. Next time. That's okay. It's still what 136 per unit. And this is this is a pretty big piece, so it's a lot of units. I can just barely see the edges. Oh. Whoa, I can see light coming from down below. All right, and for those of you who have never been down here before, if you look off here to the uh, side, you will see a tunnel. This tunnel will lead you to the um, the safari biome, which is where the walnut trees and stuff are. Um, it's up on the cave. There's a little cave that has a uh, a hole in it, and that hole is is for you to drop stuff down into that hole, and then it will up here over there or if you get stuck down here you can you can go through there so i'm gonna pause it while we're waiting and we'll see what happens whenever i start to go back up i decided to get into the passenger side i'm listening to the music right now It's like a dripping of a cave. I'm ready to see the New Times biome. I know that we talk a lot about the End Times biome, Ooh. but where's the End Times biome? Or where's where's the New Times biome? What kind of tree would we have there? And how would you get to it? Would you go up the bridge? I love fandom like ideas and concepts so if you have ideas and concepts leave them down below what do you think by the way i didn't invent lumber okay i don't own lumber a lot of people ask me all the time like oh can you unban me i'm like i don't have any control i'm i'm a player just like you i play the game i just happen to be on youtube and record about it so that's it that's all i guess i could pause it again we got about 10 minutes left. Um, I should do a book giveaway soon because my new book is coming out and I, I haven't been advertising it a whole heck of a lot. Um, <clears throat> but if you go to the links in the description down below, my new book, you can go and pre-order it now. 
it is available for pre-order. So if you're looking to program Roblox games, or if you're just looking to brush up on your Roblox skills, either way, it is a great book to have. Um, in fact, all of the books of the unofficial Roblox books are great. David's the other guy that does the, uh, the first book. And I uh, revamped, updated the uh, book he wrote, and I revamped and updated the book I wrote. So the first two books and the second two books, all right, they're technically the same books, but the old ones are for old school Roblox. The new ones are for the new school Roblox. And it's, it's simple stuff like um, not calling it a video game anymore, not calling it games right we call them experiences um back then you had turbo builders club you had ultimate builders club and, and builders club and just these different things that we don't have anymore so it's a it's a big revamp to the things that were there and it's amazing to me how fast roblox is updating and changing you know it's it's getting crazy especially going public and, and having stock options stuff like that just Wow. I mean, look how much it's changed in the last year. You know, with the the DevEx and the the copyrights and the, all the new rules just changing quickly. And I don't know if it's for the better. I mean, it could be for the worse. But whatever the case may be, I still want to play video games. It doesn't have to be just Roblox. I did a TikTok. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys know what that game is? Like, were you trying to get somebody to, to look at the, the thing, like that? That was a, a big game back whenever I was in middle school and high school. I was trying to get somebody to look at it, and I don't remember what it was called. There's probably different various names for it, but. And the way you do it is you do it inconspicuously. Like, oh, I got a piece of lint you know and you get somebody to try and look at it and if they look they lose so <sighs> also i think it was supposed to be like below the, the the knee like it has to be below the knee or something like that i don't remember what the rules are can somebody put the rules down below can google it and just leave the rules for everyone <laughs> <coughs> yeah. bless me because don't type make a wish because whenever a YouTuber sneezes on camera, you need to make a wish. Because it's a rare occurrence. Most most people would, like, edit that out. Not me. Not me. I don't edit that. I, I don't edit at all. <laughs> Which is a good thing for me. Because, like, you're getting to see the gameplay in the real times. In, in the real... Not the end times, but the real times. Hmm. Got real time coffee spilled on my face. Oh. Alright. Alright, code. Come on, let's let's go. Let's skedaddle. Don't get too close. Otherwise you get your truck stuck. Like that that's too close. There we go. Right about there. That's just right. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Whew. Almost didn't make that. All right, we're gonna go do this, and then it'll be fine. If you guys are asking, that is part of my door bridge uh, for whenever I'm down there. And somebody was asking if I could um, set up the door bridge um, to be rotatable when it's on the ground. I don't think so. I don't think there's a way to actually get it to work like that because it's it's pretty stuck like it, it's pretty specific oh come on come on Just, yeah, okay you know what drop it we'll take it through down here there we go there we go wait is this uh, the massive one no this this is a massive one up here we'll do the massive one I don't think it's too long whoa whoa oh gosh Okay. Just get up there, dude. Come on. Seriously. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop. It smelled like somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh Lord Jesus, there's a fire. Then I ran, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing. Oh man, old memes. That's what I need in my life right now. I need old memes for the weekend. You guys got some old memes? Uh, clean, they have to be clean, family friendly. But if you've got memes, tweet them to me. I need memes for the weekend. Oh, that'd be great. Just do an entire weekend of memes. I think that's that's all you can post to social media. Tag me in. That'd be great. It's Friday. We got four minutes left. Yeah, do it. Send me memes. I want them. <sighs> Tag at Code Primate on Twitter. I'll have my phone on all day, all day. So I'll uh, I'll be watching for him. I need me some memes. Should I do like a meme time? Meme time, it's meme time. The only cure for sadness. Is that copywritten? I don't know if that's copywritten or not. I don't think it is. Although it should be. It should be. Nice. Are you done? Yeah, that one's done. Oh, that is a heavy piece of wood. Can't even lift that. It's crazy how dense that got. All right, we'll do the rest. Boop. There we go. And that one. I got one more for you. One more. Can it go in sideways? I think it can. Oh yeah, it can. Nice. All right. Got a little bit of ice wood. Hit B, put that back. Oh, sorry, not ice wood. Um. Oh no, did it fill in a blueprint? It did. Dang it. I didn't mean to fill in the short print, the short wall. This isn't ice, right? Like there's no, yeah, it's just phantom wood, aka end times wood, aka the glow, glowy blue tree down below. Anyhow, I think that's it. I'm I'm gonna quit it out. I'm jumping. I'm taking off. So, and like I said, it's the weekend. Relax. All right. Uh, if you have brothers and sisters, go play with your brothers and sisters. Okay. Don't don't grow up not like enjoying each other's company because. Eventually you will move away from your your parents and you will move away from each other and you will miss each other and I promise it, it will happen. Okay, so <sighs> Parents hold on to your kids as long as you can Because someday they're gonna grow up. They're not gonna want to live in in the same house They're gonna go off to college. They're gonna want their own jobs They're gonna get married and then they're gonna have their own kids who will probably look up inappropriate things on YouTube just like our kids do. Anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumbertech N2 with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. Can somebody put that on a t-shirt? Could we Could we get that, Steven? Can, can we make it that? Thank you for watching this episode of Lumbertech N2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things you're supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <sighs> Weekend. Sorry, that still, that still just sounded weird. So we'll do it right.